Kameranda, marahil ang katakaka kung bakit napakalaki bang ginagamit na kuryente ng Bitcoin. Marahil gusto mong tanongin ano nga pa ang mga factors na nagdadrive ng napakalaking consumption nito. Halil ka, samahan mo ko at pag-aralan natin, Kameranda, ang mga drivers kung bakit malaki nga ba ang consumption ng Bitcoin from an energy perspective. Noong 2009, nung si Satoshi Nakamoto ay nagmint ng first cryptocurrency na Bitcoin, ang plano is gumawa ng decentralized payment platform that will revolutionize how we buy and sell everything. At that particular point, ginawa ni Satoshi Nakamoto ang kanyang white paper to enable quick and borderless transactions. Pagkatapos ng isang dekada, hindi may kakaila na ang Bitcoin has gone mainstream. Pero maaaring hindi ahayon sa white paper na talagang ginawa ni Satoshi Nakamoto. Instead of facilitating everyday transactions, cryptocurrency today have become very speculative asset, sort of a digital gold, attracting investors who believe they'll be able to resell their holdings for big profits in the future. Itong digital gold na ito, came with a catch. Napakalaking electricity consumption. Camerada, it's estimated that Bitcoin consumes electricity at an annualized rate of 127 terawatt per hour. Yung usage na yan exceeds the entire annual electricity of Norway. In fact, Bitcoin is actually using 707 kilowatt hours of electricity per transaction, which is 11 times of Ethereum. Conceptually, it doesn't seem like Bitcoin should require enormous amount of electricity. Ang kailangan mo lang talagang gawin is point and click or tap on your smartphone to buy and sell crypto. We have had this technology that does much the same for other sorts of digital transactions for decades. Pero yung pagiging decentralized kasi ni Bitcoin ang nagdadrive for huge carbon emissions footprint. Alam mo ba ka Miranda, to verify transactions, Bitcoin requires computers to solve ever more complex mathematical problems. This proof of work mechanism ay napaka energy intensive than many people will realize. In case of Bitcoin, ginagawa ito by having many different competitors all conduct a race to see how quickly they can package a transaction and solve a small mathematical problem. Yung crypto miner who completes the mathematical equation the fastest, yung pinakamabilis, no? not only certifies a transaction but also gets a small reward for the trouble that they had in a form of a Bitcoin payment. Nga pala, Kameranda, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click on like and subscribe so you're updated for everything about cryptocurrency, technical analysis, fundamentals, and these types of new knowledge for you in crypto. Maraming salamat. Ng mga unang mga panahon kay Bitcoin, itong proseso na ito didn't consume nation-state amounts of electricity. But inherent to the cryptocurrency technology is for the mathematical puzzles to become more harder and harder. Tinatawag din itong difficulty bomb. And this dynamic will only accelerate as more people attempt to buy the Bitcoin. Multiple crypto miners Camerant are actually using electricity in competition for rewards. Even though there may be hundreds of thousands of computers racing to solve the same problem, only one ang talagang kailangang manalo and will receive the Bitcoin honorarium. Of Of course, ito ay wasteful in the sense 99.99% of the machines that did the work but just to throw away as the result because they did not win the race. So while this process produces a fair and secure result, it also creates a ton of carbon footprint kasi nga, yung mga hindi nanalo, almost 99.9% will just technically waste energy. Moreover, itong proseso na ito ay take more than 10 minutes. That is the time it takes for a new block to be mined. Other transactions that are digital like those yung mga visa are faster and rely on less energy. Visa, for instance, can handle around 1,700 transactions per second compared with Bitcoin na apat lang ang ganyan TPS. In terms of crypto mining, the US holds the lion's share of the global Bitcoin mining market. Humigit kumulang 38% of the global hash rate recovery. According sa May 2022 report from the Cambridge Digital Asset Program or CDAP, CDAP also found that China is the second biggest Bitcoin mining hub despite Beijing's crackdown to eliminate Bitcoin mining with its borders, with more than 20% pa rin ng market share. Other Bitcoin mining hubs include Kazakhstan with 13%, Canada with 6%, and Russia at around 5%, with the rest of the world forming the entire 100%. Ano nga ba ang pwede magawa about the Bitcoin energy problem? Solving Bitcoin giant energy consumption problem does not require returning to centralized systems like Visa. After all, the central promise of Bitcoin is the elimination of the 
metal mark. However, may mga options that the Bitcoin advocates are actually recommending, katulad ng switch to renewable energy. Yung Bitcoin mining powered by renewable energy fell when China took measures to eliminate Bitcoin mining within its borders, forcing the mining industry to go underground or tagu sila. Since China's crackdown last year, the share of the renewable energy power in crypto mining fell from 42% to just 25%. May mga startups that are actually able to address the Bitcoin carbon footprint, each targeting new ways to bring more environmentally friendly energy to Bitcoin. Tulad nito ng mga solar, renewable energy, solar power, etc. But despite these carbon-reducing endeavors, sinasabi ng mga eksperto na ang Bitcoin carbon emission have already mushroomed and are now comparable with Greece, a country with more than 10 million people. Sapa naman natin kung ano ang transition of the proof-of-stake systems. Kamiranda, ang proof of state does not require mad dash of proof of work to solve complex puzzles and its fewer resources. To simply put, ang proof of state requires lang network participants to front a small amount of cryptocurrency to be entered into a lottery for a chance to verify transactions. The thought is, if you're putting up some amount of value as a collateral, higing maligit ang chance na magka-approve ka ng mga fraudulent transactions that would devalue the currency and cost you your stake. Dahil ang proof of state ay nagtatanggal ng mga competitive computational element, it saves energy and allow each machine in a proof-of-stake environment to work one problem at a time. As opposed to proof-of-work in which an array of machines ay naguunahan to solve the same problem, kaya nauubos at nagwaste ang mga energy. Sa Ethereum kamakailan lamang na second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization ay nag-convert na into proof of stake coming from proof of work. This will dramatically reduce the energy consumption of Ethereum-based tokens and blockchains by an estimated 99.95%. However, may mga cryptocurrency naman na nag-introduce na ng pre-mining to avoid wasteful computing. Yung pre-mining is a system na nag-work like a fiat currency or stocks. There's a central authority that's creating a set amount of an item and carefully nire-release nila ito into the economy depending on what's going in the world of their business. Several other crypto assets like XRP ay hindi minimina but it's actually being produced algorithmically. This eliminates the need for dedicated high-speed mining equipment. In the systems like this, yung mga transactions are still verified by a decentralized network of validators before sila i-add sa cryptocurrency blockchain record. But yung mga involved in the transaction may have to be a small transaction fee to compensate sa validators for their effort. Since the currency system itself does not always need to reward them. In this case of XRP, this fee is a fraction of a penny. Kamiranda, transitioning Bitcoin to a proof-of-stake or a pre-mined system wouldn't be easy. To alter a Bitcoin protocol, someone would have to convince the majority of the miners to agree to the new system. A tough ask when billions are actually at stake and the existing system works if slowly and electrically inefficient. Marami salamat nga pala sa mga nag-comment sa ating video na what is Bitcoin liquidity and why does it cost liquidations? Kay Vin, kay Jules Kun, kay Moon, kay Zendrich, Pertasio Cradis, Everyday Life of Alejandro, Ranzi Bit, Rudmi, Salamat, Cheryl, Chong Tahong, and kay Ricky Carion. Maraming salamat kay Miranda and I love you 3000. Subscribe, like, follow, and share. Sige na please, kay Miranda.